Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 user interface development series. In today's video we're going to be showing you how you can set up text on your screen that is going to be linked directly to a variable. So places where this is going to come in useful is things like heads up displays. So let's say you need to show an ammo counter and you want to show the player exactly how much ammo they've got. The way you're going to be doing this is within your blueprint widget for your heads up display you are gonna have a piece of text and then with that text you are gonna have something called a content binding and this content binding is just gonna make it dynamically update with a variable that you've set up with your gameplay so what we're going to be doing is opening up our heads up display blueprint widget that we've created already and we're going to be setting up a simple piece of text on the screen which is going to be directly linked to a health variable. So what we're going to do is if you haven't got it open already just open up the HUD widget blueprint that you created already. Within here we are going to delete the two pieces of uh, two objects that we've got and we are just going to create a fresh uh, little text block in here. And now with this, what we're going to do is we're just going to anchor it into the bottom left hand corner so that it doesn't move. Now we've got our content for the text, but what we need to do is create a binding for this. And this binding, like I said, is just going to dynamically link it to the value of a variable. So whenever the health changes, this text is also going to change. So what we need first is some kind of variable that we can work with. So what I'm going to do is open up my first person character blueprint within first person BP and in here I'm just going to create a quick little variable with the name health and then if I compile this I'm going to set the variable type to an integer because I want to show the player's health as a value going from 0 to 100. I'm going to set the default value to 100 and then I'm going to compile this. So what we need to do now then is show you guys how we can actually access this variable and have it shown on the screen. So over, we're over back in your heads up display, your HUD widget, if you go to your content for your text, go ahead and create a binding. And then within here, you are going to get two nodes. So you're going to have your execution node, uh, your execution pin coming from the beginning of the function. And then at the end, you're going to have a return value. And what it is asking for is a piece of text. So in this case, it is going to be the health which needs to be displayed on the screen. Now, bear in mind, we have got that variable as an integer, as it's a number. So we're going to have to do a bit of conversion and also obviously we're going to have to get access to that variable. So the way that we're going to do this is from get text, drag out from there and we're going to use the cast node to cast to the first person character or whichever blueprint you're trying to get information from and then as that third person, as that first person character, you can then directly access that variable. So what we're going to do is type in get health. And now notice we have got access to the health variable. And now if we actually grab that health variable and drag it into the return value, it is going to automatically generate this two text node for us, which is essentially going to convert our integer into a text value, which can be shown on the screen. So essentially what we've done here now then is reference the first person character, which is where the variable is actually being stored. And then we're just hooking this up into the return node with a little bit of conversion. You've got a few bits in here, um, such as always sign, use grouping, and if you hover over those, you can get a better understanding of what they do. Um, but anyway, what we're able to do here is simply just reference a variable and get it dynamically displayed on the screen. One thing I do want to mention with the cast to first person character or any cast node, your object wildcard needs to be the object that it's sort of parented to 
or not parented to or that it sort of relates to. So in this case, for a character, what we're going to do is type in get player character. If it was your game mode, you type in get game mode. Um, and there is loads and loads of different things that you're going to be using for this and you are going to pick them up as you begin to use blueprints. And this is another point at which I do recommend that you check out my blueprint series if you want to do more complex stuff with your UI. But if I go ahead and compile this, we should have no errors. If I go to my design view, by default it does say my text is equal to text block, but if I jump into my game, press play, you can see on the left hand side it says nothing. And that's just because I haven't got my heads up display being displayed, which is not going to be an issue. So what we're going to do, we need to make sure that our widget for our heads up display is actually being shown on the screen because at the moment we haven't really told it to do so. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up my first person character and then within here, from my begin play, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this out, make myself some space, and I'm simply going to create a widget before I do any of that other code. And then with this, I'm just going to add it to the viewport so that our heads up display is going to be shown on the screen. So just go ahead and link it up just like this before the rest of your code and set your class for that widget to HUD. Hit compile, hit play, and then notice in the top left, uh, in the bottom left hand corner, we have now got our text. And that text is equal to the variable value, which was 100, which we set earlier on. And if I open up my first person character, set the value for our health to something like 56, hit compile, and then go back into the game. Notice it says 56, and it's gonna keep on updating by itself. So if you take damage, it's going to update. If you, you know, get a bit more health, it's going to update and all of that good stuff. So hopefully you guys have a better understanding of how content bindings are going to work. This is the most simple form for a piece of text. And in the next video, we're going to be showing you how you can set up a content binding for a progress bar. Anyway, guys, once again, thanks for watching. Stay awesome. Keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.